to our channel, Exploring It All. I'm Miraculous Girl. Join me and my dad while we explore subscription boxes, the outdoors, gear and equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Thank you for watching! Well, thank you very much for that amazing introduction, Miraculous Girl, and thank you everyone for joining us again here on Exploring It All. So today we are going to be completing the Survival Skills Challenge from this month's Opaco Box, August of 2024's Opaco Box. Craig provided us with some basic essentials for this kit. Now, you can order the Survival Skills Challenge by itself. I believe it runs around $15 a month, and I will point out the items that actually came with this and then the things that I added. I put this together real quick using items I've received in various subscriptions and things I've received just in the last month for the most part except for one item. Anyway, first we have, this is the sticker. It, go, it can go right on top of the tin. I haven't attached mine yet only because I haven't decided if I wanna put the sticker on it or not. So there's that. I'm going to set this right down here in the corner of the screen. But you open it up and boom. This is what we got. So there's some little funny side notes here. I'm currently working on a video on some things. There is one item I'm, I'm thinking of getting rid of because it takes up too much space for what it offers. And I'll get into that too. So in the instructions, Creek mentioned a little photon light. And here's one. And this one actually kind of glows a reddish orange. And I like this little light. It's, it's, it, as you guys can see, it's got some brightness and it doesn't destroy your night vision. So there's that. I don't know. I might have gotten this from County Com or something. I'm not really sure. I have a couple of these around. So, so there's that item. Next, now this is something I haven't got in a, in a, a subscription box. And that is the Leatherman Squirt. And this is the pliers here. And then on the outside, while it's closed up, you have a blade, a file with two different grits on here. You have a screwdriver cap lifter. You have a small screwdriver that works as a standard or Phillips and a pair of scissors so and of course a key ring there so this is the leatherman squirt I, I forget how much these things run nowadays very very nice little one to have there i have a few of the smaller leathermans so we have the survival whistle this was in, included by creek i like this item this this is a very loud decibel whistle so you have that I have the Griffin Mini tool here. It's a pry bar. It's got hex. It's got some wrenches in here. You got the quarter inch hex driver here. And this would be a little wrench backup kind of thing. And it's nice to have something like this. If, if you've ever had to tighten something up in an emergency situation, we were on a boat on the Puget Sound and I may try and insert some video of that. And we stopped to watch some uh, sea, sea lions. I think there were sea lions. Maybe there were seals. I forget now. But the when we turned off the boat and we sat there for a while, then when we went to start, it wouldn't start. One of the battery cables had come loose. And my brother-in-law didn't have any tools in the boat. But luckily, I had a Leatherman. I forget what it was. It's a micro one. It was a PS one. But... It has pliers on it, but no blade. And I specifically brought that one because I could take it on the plane. But a lot of times you need two to tighten something. You need to be able to put a wrench on both sides on a lot of little things. And so you got a backup here. Anyway, this came in Battle Box last month. Oh. <laughs> Let's see here. Next, I put two 
of the Stormproof UCO matches. I got this recently. I got this kit in a in a box recently. I for I forget which one it was that I got it in. It was a, a grab bag. It was oh I can't even remember, but I I've been using them. I like them. They're they're a good item. So next from Creek. Also, we had a signal mirror, and I'm keeping that in here. But an item I'm really considering taking out is this lanyard with this whistle. It's very big compared to, I mean, it's almost half the size of the multi-tool. And I already have one whistle in here, and this just takes up a lot of space. This lanyard takes up a lot of space, and I don't even believe that this is 550 cord. I think it's just because uh, it doesn't feel like it has much in there. So I'm very much considering taking that out because that just takes up way too much space. So the signal mirror does have instructions on how to use these and all that on there. Uh, another funny side note. I was thinking about cutting this signal tape up. This is an adhesive signal tape. It is reflective. I think there's a even more reflective surface on the other side. And I was going to cut it into smaller squares and then I realized well this is adhesive and in a way you could use this as a first aid type of thing because you could put this I don't know how good the adhesive is but but you could use this to tape lash something down in an emergency situation as well so you don't have to use that just for signaling so I thought that was a really great item I included a striker strip for these matches because I did try to use one of I tested it out the matches to see if I could use the file on the squirt to start the matches and it didn't work. I have this bandage right here which I recently ordered a hardcore hammer and in their little envelope telling me there was a thank you card, there was a sticker and there was a band-aid <laughs> and this is that band-aid. So I thought I had it sitting here and I thought I'll put a band-aid in there. So we got a band-aid and then from this month's Grim Workshop, I have this card. This is the uh, Wayne Russell card. It has a blade on here. I still need to take this out and sharpen this blade. But we have six fishing hooks, five, no, five fishing hooks, two lures or uh, trap snare lock things. You got two sewing needles and you got a frog gig. And these can be removed and reattached to that. And I've permanently affixed that on the inside of this, of this tin. And then, of course, the tin was included. So, for the initial $15 uh, and the challenge, basically, uh, Creek included the tin, the, this whistle here, the signal mirror, the bigger sticker, and the survival tape. So, and this signal mirror came with that whistle. So, that's a look at what I put in my survival skills challenge. Of course, you can always change this up. I used to love making these things when I was in the Boy Scouts. I used to make little survival kits, pocket kits, throw them in your fishing gear, throw them, you, you just, you can, and you can put all kinds of things. Another item you could put in here that would, would not take up very much space, uh, an indivi individually packed aqua tab you could put in here. You would still need a, a bottle to do your water pur purification in, but at least you would have the, the tablet to do it. Um, just a lot of different things, a lot of different ways you could go. I think the the putting the squirt in there really adds to it overall, I think. All right, guys, that's a look at the Survival Skills Challenge for Opaco Box for August of 2024. Remember, we do have a Facebook group that we, it's called the Battle Box. Battle Box spoilers page and more, and we talk about a lot of stuff, not just not just Battle Box, but Apocalypse Box, Grim Workshop, people trade things. It's not a corporate one Facebook group, so we're free to discuss and trade other companies' items and things like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, hit like, subscribe, and be nice to each other.